Feature Cam 2015 R3 now gives users the ability to program mini turrets when used in conjunction with a B-axis head in turn mill. This functionality allows for their accurate simulation and NC code generation to support more flexible tool positioning and fast tool changes. Now in this particular example, I've loaded in the machine design file for a Mazak Integrex machine. Additionally, zooming in, we can see I've already imported a mini turret and positioned it according to the B-axis head. As well as the positioning of my mini turret, I've also established three different locations for my tool positions by defining three individual user coordinate systems. If I go into my user coordinate system dialog, we can see these defined as MT1, MT2, and finally MT3. So having done this, I can now go ahead and set up my mini turret to be used as a tool block within my machine design simulation file. To do this, I can go into the machine design tab and simply choose tool block for turret. I can then specify my mini turret as the solid and additionally the mini turret location which is where it will match onto the spindle. At this point I can go to my tool locations and we can see I've already preset three individual tool positions for my mini turret. Now to do these we can simply add an individual location Alternatively, I can double click and edit my tool information. So in this case, we can see I've selected my UCS MT1. We can see that highlighted in red on screen and we can see a blue preview of my OD lathe holder. So at this stage, having set this up within my machine design file, we can save the machine design file and go to my part example. Now in this particular example we have four pre-programmed features. If I go to the results tab what we can see is we simply have three different tools in order to program the four features. So for the facing and turning we have an 80 degree turning tool, we then have a grooving tool and finally a threading tool. So I want to set up these three tools to be used on my mini turret. To do this I can go into my tool mapping and specify the three tools as a child of my tool block mini turret. So if I just go through this process, I'm just going to reset all to take us back to the default tool mapping configuration. I can then specify each of my tools to have the same tool number. So in this case, I'm going to give them the same uh, tool number one location. Uh, and once I've done this, I can specify the block for each of my tools. So for my 80 degree turning tool we can see from the drop down menu I have my mini turret with the three tool location and we can see my three individual sub slots. So I'm going to choose sub slot 1 for the first tool and then for my grooving tool I'm going to repeat the process choose sub slot 2 and finally for my threading tool choose sub slot 3 like so. So we've now defined our uh, tooling configuration to be used with the mini turret. So at this stage I can go ahead and run through a machine simulation. Immediately we can see our various tools located within the mini turret like so. So if I just do a single step through my simulation just using the Alt F3 key we can see we have our initial facing operation we then have the turning and we have the final finish turn pass we then retract our mini turret we'll see it index to select the next tool we then come back into position to create the next operation Again we index the mini turret, in this case choose our threading tool and we complete the programming of the part like so.